Hi. Okay, let's take a look at this question here. It says, consider the relation represented by this graph. And then we're supposed to represent this relation as a set of ordered pairs. Okay, well, here's our, here's our graph here. And notice it's just a bar graph. Okay, we've got uh, the, the student here and then the distance. Distance is driven to work here. Okay, or I guess probably the student here, probably better to school. Now, in this particular case right here, we're going to set this up as a bunch of ordered pairs. We need to decide what's going to be the independent variable and what's going to be the dependent variable. And it makes sense here that the distance driven is going to depend upon who we're talking about. So it makes sense that the, the name here would be the, the independent variable, which means in our ordered pairs, the name should come first. Now, when we look at our options here, this is a multiple choice question, that means immediately A doesn't make any sense, okay? The person doesn't depend on the distance driven. The distance driven depends on who we're talking about here. So now all we got to do here is identify kind of who lines up with what. Now, already with Jody here, we should be able to identify actually between the, um, oh, sorry, we're going to be kind of try to be a little bit more strategic here. So take a quick look here. Let's take a look at Jody. Jody lines up at five. So Jody needs to be with the five here. So again, B doesn't work. Okay. Now, once we move beyond that, Let's take a look at what diff what separates uh, C and D here. So yeah, those are the same, those are the same. Tom, okay, right here, Tom and Tony. Well, look up at the graph here. There is no Tom. It is just Tony here. So it can't be C, there's no Tom, in which case it has to be D. And so there's the answer to our first question.